Hello and welcome to another video from me Mist. In today's video we will be taking a look at some of the features and information that is currently available for a game by the name of Black Ice. The game itself is brought to you by Super Duper Garrett Cooper, developed and published. I believe this may be a one man development team, although I cannot find any additional information on the man himself or the company, so this may not be the case. If it isn't, I do apologise in advance. If you head over to the Steam page for the game or the developer's website, the game describes itself as a hack and shoot. This should be taken in the literal sense, as you will soon see. The game also describes itself as a cyberpunk first person shooter slash hack and slash RPG about hacking. The developer himself describes it as a Borderlands meets Tron, with the use of bright neon colours, 80s style neon colours. This certainly does add to the Tron style effect. The actual art style of the game is very minimalistic, blocks and lines. Sort of think of that one scene at the end of Hackers where Dade is looking through the Gibson. That's the sort of aesthetic that you can expect to see in this game. The cyber world itself is procedurally generated, loot is randomised and the lasers are loud, as they say on their page. The game itself is currently in early access slash beta with additional updates on the way. As far as I can see, the release date on the Steam page is the 9th of July 2014. That's when I believe the early access began and the beta officially started. The game was in an alpha state before then, it is now officially in beta state. There is still more to add, uh, the price is currently 6 99 UK. As more and more is added to the game, the price in early access will increase slowly. However, when the game is fully complete, the price is listed as $20. Probably going to see a conversion over to pounds for that one. Can't see it coming out at... 2020, $20, 20 pounds, etc. I think probably will come out slightly lower for us in the UK. I'm not sure about the rest of Europe. Unfortunately, we'll have to see what happens there. There is a free demo available on Steam page itself. However, the demo only allows you to go as far as level 4. You can, of course, continue to play still, but you cannot continue to level unless you then upgrade to the early access version, the paid for version. There are other versions still available, I believe, from the official website. Um, if you download those, you can play earlier versions of the beta or alpha state versions. These are not level locked, I believe, and you can play to higher levels, but the content in those will potentially be slightly outdated, may contain additional bugs that have been fixed and crashes and may not necessarily run as well as the current version that you will find on Steam. The game is available in the English language only at present. The interface would appear to be fully complete according to the Steam page that is ticked. Full audio and subtitles are not, however. The soundtrack certainly seems to complete, so the audio side, unless of course they do add more weapons and more sound effects may be required later on, as well as additional enemies may require sound effects. Subtitles, I do not believe they are currently in the game, I have not come across them. So that will be something that potentially could be added later. However, the single player is currently in there, as well as functioning multiplayer. The multiplayer is also cross-platform. Um, only with PCs or PC-style equipment. Uh, by that I mean PC, Mac, uh, described as OS X 10, and Linux. Uh, various Linux distros, I would imagine this would be, as if you can get it to run on your distribution of Linux, then you should have no problems and you should still be able to play perfectly well with other people in the multiplayer. So those three different OSs should be able to interact with each other and play with each other. They're giving a larger overall group of people to play with and increasing the longevity and life of the game, hopefully. As well as multiplayer, there is also co-op feature and Steam achievements, if you like those. There are Steam achievements that you can go for. At present, we do not know when the game will be out of early access and into full release. However, the game is constantly receiving updates. As stated earlier, the developer said that as more and more is added to the early access release, the price will increase. However, it will cap out eventually at 
before release price of $20. So at the moment, it looks like it might be a while before it's out. We do not know. We'll have to keep an eye out and see. As anything changes, we will be updated. There are quite a lot of additional features currently being worked on when the game reaches full release. The game will include a complete plot or story, quests, specialization options, melee weapons, the ability to trade items with other players in multiplayer, as well as more enemies, a wider variety of enemies overall. At present, I've only come across three enemies. One appears to be a slightly larger variant of the other, so let's see what happens there. Anyone who has bought into early access games before and potentially got burnt will be pleased to know that at present the game is essentially functionally complete. It works, it does exactly what it says on the tin. The developer says that there are dozens of hours of gameplay available at the moment and potentially a high replay value. Certainly the, the way the loot works, it's can quite randomised. It seems to be background dice rolls on what stats is going to drop on the pieces of loot and as to what loot is going to drop so certainly there is you could do quite a lot of playing trying to get the items that you want some of the features that we mentioned before are currently in the game and functional as well the game already features online multiplayer co-op the offline single player of course is there and working item and ability modding is available as well as achievements are already in the game as well one thing to point out though is according to the official steam page they do say billions of items and some very deadly enemies certainly the enemies are quite deadly if you go for some of the larger level hacks early on before you have quite a lot of gear or any gear at all really in particular there is also a difficulty slider that you can adjust to also increase difficulty that goes to ludicrous levels as for the billions of items it's certainly a lot, certainly a very, very high number, potentially, as I can see, thousands, tens of thousands. It's all about the stats that get rolled and what drops. If you're looking for something in particular, it could take you days, weeks, months, even years in some cases. Certainly, your best bet might be to go into multiplayer and try and find someone who's got an item that, with the stats that you're looking for. That could be the one downside to the game, is really how random is the drops and how desperately you really want to match up all your stats and min-max your character as best as possible. The developer also gladly welcomes feedback from the community. There is a publicly viewable to-do list of things that are currently being planned and are being worked on for the game and you can see what is planned for the future there. You also have the ability to vote on and comment on your favourite potential features that you are looking forward to from that list, I suppose. There is also a soundtrack available. The soundtrack for the game is on sale at the moment. That is, you can pick that over up at bandcamp.com. Um, the Axis is what you want there. The link will be in the description of this video. But just quickly, I will give you it's the hyphen axis axys dot bandcamp dot com um, if you head over there and you want to look for the album black ice level one uh, the axis is from germany according to their page the soundtrack for the game is very good there is certainly certainly fits the theme and the aesthetic very nicely so you might want to head over there and check that out as i say it's probably easier if you just click the link below for that in the description and check it out see what you think and finally, if you scroll down to the bottom of the Steam page, you will see a nice list of juicy promises. All of these are very, very welcome for PC gamers and YouTubers as well, as you will soon see. Every update for the game will be free. There will be no microtransactions. The game will only ever cost you money once, so whether you buy it right now at the present price in early access, or later on at the final full release price, or anywhere in between, you will only have to pay once and not again. There will be zero DRM, none at all. Certainly there have been a lot of DRM issues in the past with a lot of other games. Certainly you don't want anything that gets in the way of your playing. If any of you remember that one Assassin's Creed game where if your internet connection spazzed out or went down, you could not play. The game would pause itself until the connection resumed. So no internet no problem 
no DRM once you've got the game and it's downloaded in you go obviously you can't play multiplayer but you can still play your single player no problems or if you're on the move and you don't happen to have connection you can play on the train play in your caravan on the plane wherever it happens to be there are going to be no copyright takedowns on let's play videos there has been quite a lot about this lately and companies came out a while saying you can play our games this is fine put them on youtube make videos make monetized videos no problems it is right here right now in black and white on the steam page that you can make let's play videos and there will be no takedowns for those so if this is your bag and looks like something that you could put on your channel and your viewers will enjoy go right ahead and if there is any questions that you would like to ask the developer or anything else that you would like to know or need to contact him for he can be contacted via steam or on the steam forums or via email or on their twitter all of these will again be found in the description below but you can go to support at superduperGC.com. that would be the email or twitter at black ice the game so anything you need to contact the develop developer for bugs or anything obviously submit it into the official steam page steam forums for the game but also send off to the developer if you find anything and again the website if you would like to go and take a look at any thing on the official website or just find those links for yourself superduperGC.com. at this point i would like to thank you all for taking the time to listen to me rant on so i hope you enjoyed black ice i've certainly had fun with it and that's all for now miss out